welcome back to the channel. I was actually heading home uh, and I was like, um, should I do another video on Osmo Pocket? Um, but, um, you know, like I was thinking that everybody of us, we have tested out videos. So there are two modes in the Osmo Pocket, Basic and Pro. Um, and uh, we, when we nobody did an in-depth comparison about what you are getting on a Pro mode. So what I did was, um, I was actually returning home and I thought that, hey, uh, let's check out the Pro mode and uh, let's give a verdict whether the Osmo Pocket is actually a better, better camera or it's more like made for videos rather than photo cameras. And now if you are comparing this with a DSLR, obviously the Osmo Pocket doesn't even stand a chance against a, uh, competing against a DSLR. But uh, if you see that, uh, uh, if, is it a kind of a good camera for, you know, like everyday photography and stuff like that? Maybe can we beat RX100 Mark IV, Mark III since they share the same kind of sensor but I'm pretty sure that the RX100 actually has got a one inch sensor um, let's actually check that out so at first this is for uh, the face tracking feature that is involved um, and I was not able to show in my last video so you just uh, drag uh, like a small picture around or a frame around yourself and that's how it tracks by the way guys it's not available in FPV mode it is available in follow mode only right now so you have to use uh, follow mode go to the settings and use follow mode and uh, now it tracks and everything uh, you will see that uh, whenever I look forward upwards it loses track but whenever I look into the camera again it tracks back again now on the left hand corner is on the top button when you press that you can go from uh, basic and pro right now when you are taking videos in basic you cannot toggle to pro so you have to turn off the video and then toggle to pro in uh, in the beginning you will see video formats and you might be wondering okay so what format should i shoot well if you're doing instagram only then uh, i think mp4 is enough but uh, for all those guys those who want to make a c roll or a b roll kind of uh, footage can use mov and that's where the 100 megabits per second uh, raw is involved in that and white balance i usually keep it at auto anti flicker i've already explained to you guys that use 60 hertz for us 50 hertz for uh, Europe and Asia. Uh, voice amplification level, I keep it auto. Noise reduction should be on. Grid is grid lines. If you are outside, turn on the noise reduction and focus mode, AFC and AFS. What is that? AFC is continuous autofocus. And if you are tracking fast objects, uh, that's autofocus servo. Now, when you go to photo mode, you can actually change from auto as you can see that the auto actually tries to adjust shutter speed and everything because the main purpose is to bring the exposure to zero now when i toggle to manual mode i can on the top is my iso button and i can change my iso from uh, 100 to 3200 guys you cannot go more than 3200 and shutter speed you can go all the way up to i think one by 4000 do correct me if i am wrong and um, and uh, the main purpose of this video is to show you the quality of shots and i will be uh, increasing the isos and i'm going to show you how all these pictures look like with different iso levels and we'll be cropping in on each and every image at 200 percent and we are going to see um, how the images stand up so remember this guys uh, we this is just a test so at first at ISO 100 shutter speed one, let's crop in uh, ISO 100 should be good. I mean, it's expected. It is fine actually. ISO 200 and the thing is that I was shooting half second and the camera actually pretty much held good. Then from ISO 200, we I'll give you like another example. And when you crop in, you will see more or less the same effect. There is details are holding pretty, pretty good compared to any iPhone or point and shoot. This is ISO 400 and I did this test just to check out detail when I cropped in. Detail is a little bit here and there, but manageable, you know, like that's ISO 800 and uh, at ISO 800 when you crop in, details are pretty good, not that bad. And uh, another shot, so we'll crop in this shot just to see the corners. Oh, I didn't even crop in. Wow. Anyways, ISO 1600 and we cropped in on this one and you will see already grains uh, coming up. Uh, 3200 and uh, pretty much pretty awesome I mean like I was not expecting this sort of quality 
and uh, again another 3200 on that and um, what we are going to do is that we are going to zoom in usable footage i mean you can use this picture so there you go guys we just finished uh, the whole app that we increased the iso uh, at an increment of 100 so it was 100 200 then it went to 400 600 800 16 and 32 and thereafter so uh, the results are in front of you let me know down in comment section what do you think that is osmo pocket worth to get and is the osmo pocket a good camera to take pictures i know it's an amazing camera to videos and i've literally stripped down all my gears and i'm i'm now literally doing a lot of stuff with my osmo pocket obviously it's a very very good video camera but uh, in photos mm, it's not that good because when i cropped in i was seeing a lot of grains but is it going to be kind of an instagram camera yes it is an instagram camera but um, i need you guys to decide and uh, you do tell me in comment section what do you think about it because uh, your opinion matters in the channel so take care have a nice night